Hey, love you guys. Merry Christmas to you guys. And I just wish, want to wish you guys happy, happy new year. Yeah, from the United Way. Obviously, we have had a very uh, interesting year. One of the, I think, if, if, no matter how you look at the year in regards to Manchester United and in football in general, this will be the first year in the history of the game that the World Cup was played in, uh, in, in the winter, in December, during the holiday period. And um, the first time in the, uh, in 10 years that Manchester United has had a proper manager. So, guys, uh, yeah, I just want to wish you guys a uh, uh, Merry Christmas wherever you are, where you, wherever you're watching these videos from, uh, from. Thank you very much for being part of the community. If you're not yet, then make sure, please, you just click that subscribe button so we can be friends forever. So, yeah, as you see on the top nail, it is about uh, Cody Gakpo. This is a player in which Manchester United is so eager to bring, well... Let's put it this way. Ten Hag is so eager to bring and Manchester United are trying to find some kind of financial grounds or kind of uh, uh, a good deal to bring Cody Gakpo into uh, Manchester United team. I have done a lot of video about Cody Gakpo. I wouldn't be talking about speculation when he's going to be a Manchester United player. But um, I can put my money where the mouth my, uh, put my money where my, uh, uh, where my mouth is by saying that Cody Gakpo will be a Manchester United player. I, I I can take that responsibility on the chin. No matter what happened, I think he will be a United player come in January. I think one of the most reasons why Manchester United, and I'll tell you guys why. I think one of the reasons why Manchester United haven't signed Cody Gakpo yet or haven't gone deep in it, considering that they are in contact with Cody Gakpo's agents, right? We have heard this from um, people, proper, I would say, proper football uh, uh, journalists, I listen a lot about talk sports here in the UK. And uh, uh, there was a guy, uh, Alex uh, Crook, which I follow him very closely uh, since when I discovered he's a Manchester United fan because he does say things about the interests of Manchester United, but obviously he he doesn't uh, run his mouth around. So he said, I think it's very uh, this is a very close deal. He thinks uh, he knows United are really close in doing this deal. It's just a matter of, uh, of hours. Some would say days, but hours, but let's say... I think it's close like New Year, I'll put it this way. But, you know, as you guys know, the January windows opens on the 1st of January. It's not open yet, but teams are coming so closer to find whatever player uh, of interest with them. I think this would be a very good move. And uh, I was asked this question by one of you here on our Facebook groups. Guys, make sure you follow us on Facebook. We upload uh, different content here and also on our Instagram as we're growing the, ch the channel and our community. And please smash the like button if you haven't done that done so yet. I just want to tell you guys something, which um, the question which I was asked about uh, uh, this player, Gakpo, was asked, why is it that Gakpo... It is, it is clear that Gakpo is not an attacker, right? He's an attacker. He's not a number nine. And we have, uh, we have uh, get, got rid or separated. Oh my God, rid is rude. Separated with Cristiano Ronaldo and we need an attacker. Why? That's the first question. The second one is that, do I think it got the, got the, that the Glazers, who are about to sell the club, as we know, we know by March, Manchester United will be in the hands of someone else. We don't know who. Everything is done behind our backs as fans, but you will be the first to know. So make sure you join the community. Uh, that um, why the, why would the Glazers want to buy a team, a player, which will cost us roughly fifty million euros while they are selling a club for five billion dollars, five billion pounds? This is the reason why. Let me just go with the second one. Whenever you want to buy, you want to sell something. Let me just put this one. If you have a phone, a mobile phone, an iPhone, would you like to sell it with a with a destroy monitor or grass, uh, glass? Or you want to do a, uh, repairs on this phone and, and uh, add the value into it? Because you have to make, it is normal. This is just a very basic, uh, basic example to make you understand why it, it is worth while investing on a quality product like Manchester United in order to keep the value of your product you want to sell. Take that back home and look very careful into it and you'll find some sense in what I'm trying to tell you. So that might be a smart move from the Glazers. We keep complaining about the Glazers. They are not stupid. They know what they are doing. They know that uh, the Ronaldo leaving was a value. Was a, was a value. That was the reason why they were keeping Ronaldo. It was not even about his results. It was about the fall of his brand. So value for them is something which they take very closely. Don't forget, Manchester United is a club that has always been giving one-year contract to the Matas, to certain players, extending their contracts, which they are not even value valuable uh that much just just to hold the value of the product because they saw they see manchester united not as a football club but as um as a product as i said as, as, as something that they know at some point they were going to sell so i hope that has been that's been answered yeah i know what some of them from facebook watch these videos so i hope that has been answered and 
the question is why Gakpo? The reason why Gakpo is so close uh, is is uh, United so keen of bringing Gakpo to Manchester United. It's not really the club that wants Gakpo. It is the manager. And considering of Ten Hag for the five transfer which Ten Hag has made this summer, plus no, last summer I would say, none of them have been disappointed. We need to back the manager. The only way that I see Manchester United being productive this season is to get behind the manager because the manager has proven that he does, he can uh, get the best from the players in which uh, he goes for. So as I said, Manchester United are getting closer and closer as this goes by. And uh, I don't want, since I'm not a transfer, we are not a transfer here in this channel, journalists, where we, we, we must do a breakaway. We don't want to be that channel that talks about breakaway, giving break... Um, uh breaking news because our job is not that we are fan and we react to things that we get, relate to manchester united and that's why we are talking today about this deal i think this is one of the closest deal united have on the, uh, in their pocket the second place in the second area on the pitch which united want to strengthen is the defense level the defense that's uh where uh you know delo we know delo is playing alone sometimes we know tyrell malasia comes to the right to back him up because of he when he whenever ten Hag wants to give him a rest but malasia is a left uh, left footed we know uh james daniel james uh, i'm not daniel james uh uh the other def there's a def de defend uh there's a defender manchester united that also love to play in the left with it he's from the squad uh, the, the our football uh academy also the name just went on uh, out of my head who plays sometimes on the right but we need a proper right back defender to in order to help the to help this this player whenever he is not playing i'm talking about um I'm talking about uh, the, uh, uh, Dalo. So it, I think United will go to the market for a holding defense for a defender, uh, a defender, right defender, and an attacker. Is that all we need in order to be in the top four? I think it is very important that we go in the midfield. If I was asked a question also about uh, from a friend of mine close there, and I will, I will, I would like to give that back to you. Which are the players that you would love Manchester United to sell? Drop your comments below. Which of the players you want Manchester United to sell? But if you want to get mine, I'll tell you now, mine. I think it's time for Donny Van de Beek to move on because I think, I mean, he could do well at some point. But if we're being realistic, saying things the way they are today, Donny Van de Beek doesn't deserve to be a Manchester United player. He hasn't been productive for his three years. Maybe not of his fault, but because he wasn't given his player that need nurture and he wasn't given that, up that platform in order to express himself. But since when he has been timed by Ten Hag, we all have seen, since football is more... You know, anyone can judge a player just through performance. And you can see Donny van der Beek has, has clearly not been productive for Manchester United whenever he's called up to, to perform. So I might be, I think, Donny van der Beek, if, we can, if someone can give us 20 million for the player, that would be very good for us. Manchester United to gain some finance, especially that we need 50 million for Gakpo. See, there... I could do videos every day about Gakpo for 30 million. Gakpo close. Gakpo will be signed tomorrow before the new year. Gakpo is in Manchester. Those videos are videos for views. You can, can do these videos. It's easy. But what I want in this community is us to have a proper fun uh, conversation where I don't lie to you because I want you to be with me. I want to discuss the news. This is why we, we discuss about all this. Also, I want to jump inside also and give you some information about Fred. There was something we uh, we uh, we got here from the studio about Fred moving to PSG. PSG is ready to give uh, 30 million euros for Fred. You know what? I think that was just a lie. I think that was that is media talk. I'm trying so hard to tell some of you who are not very... Uh, I'm not familiar with the way the media work is that they work this uh, their algorithms in the media that try to pop your psychology so it's like ronaldo have signed for real madrid just with a picture and the story the thing with the media is about selling stories it depends on how smart you are to pick it up but uh, unfortunately most people just pick it up and sell it because these are stories that bring conversation it is social media. That's how it works. So, would Fred go to so, to to uh, Paris Saint Germain PSG? It is not very clear that Fred would be in, in PSG, and that was just a rumor, as I told you. There are no accurate facts to prove that Fred will play for Manch will play for PSG next season. But let's put in the case that Pierre Fred had to go to PSG. Will PSG pay thirty million pounds for Fred? I think we are dreaming if we will pay 30 million because Fred's contract expires in the summer. Yes, we do have a year to extend the contract of Fred, but if, let's say, THJ wanted to take Fred today, I think they will offer Manchester United not more than 10 million euros to the end of the season. 
not more than 10 million euros. And if you give me 10 million euros for Fred now, I think it's, it's worth selling him. Yes, he's, I think he's 30, 31 or so. He, 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 Fred doesn't have five, four years at the top of his game. One, number two for pay for the reason why uh, PSG, Paris Saint Germain are looking for an energetic midfielder because that is his attribute. Fred is not a ball playing player. He is the, the engine of a midfield that collects the movement that, 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 that uh, disrupt the development of the opponent in the midfield and gives it to the creative players because PSG does have these creative players. That's his function. So I think in that sense, maybe there, it's a very, it, there, what, there's something football they call good speculation. And I think that is just a good example of what good speculation is. Fred Koch leaving Manchester uh, United is possible in this January, but for 30 million, I mean, I can put my money there that I'm not sure PSG will pay such a song for such a player. And uh, yeah, so uh, what should we talk about? Again, there are other stories. It's been a while. I've not been around yet. Uh, yeah, Merry Christmas to you guys, guys. And uh, I just want to say this clearly to you guys that uh, as the next year come, uh, comes in, we will be uploading videos here on different topics. And I will get you guys involved as we try to expand our fan base here. If you want to be part of the community and uh, you live in the UK or Manchester region, make sure you contact us on our Instagram and we'll get back to you. There are certain things we need to do. You'll be paid for it. So do that. Do, just uh, get us to, in contact and uh, you will, um, yeah. We will work with you guys for that as well. So the big story here is Gakpo that we know. It's just about days. As you see on the thumbnail, that Christmas present for Manchester United is Gakpo. And uh, uh, we think Gakpo, the deal is just very, it's is quite close. And uh, when the deal comes uh, to realization, you will be the first to know. So uh, tell me what you guys, this, uh, you guys think as I close the video. Why do you think Gakpo might be essential considering that he is not a nine? My view is clear that Ten Hag doesn't want to really play with a proper nine. They want to, he wants to play with more players, flexible players, utility players, that's how it's called. Flexible players that can play any win in the attack pending on the opponent. So, and Gakpo does have those attributes, which we think it will be a plus for Manchester United. So guys, that's the video about Gakpo. Merry Christmas. And uh, guys, stay tuned in the United way. Smash a like on the video. Share this video with all our fans here. And... Uh, most of all, stay safe. Talk to you soon.